Hi guys, this is the Seattle Ring Hunter. Today I've been called out to West Seattle. Just a few days ago, there was a couple and they went to their friend's house up here and the wife was sitting in the passenger seat and it was the dreaded hand lotion. She went to put lotion on so she took, she has one wedding ring, which is more like a wedding band, but it has a solitaire diamond that's in channel set into it. It's not a, um, a mount uh, it's where it sticks out like a solitaire, but it's more channel mount. And so she had taken, put that in her lap while she was putting on lotion and then they believe what potentially happened is that she got out and it was only until like the next day after she woke up in the morning, she is an individual that doesn't take her ring off every night or anything. So she wears it all the time and they're newlyweds just a few months back. So she's been wearing this ring the whole time and then she woke up in the morning and said, oh my goodness, my ring is missing. Oh no. And they thought back and said, well, I did take it off in the car, I remember, before we got to our friend's house, and then they hopped out of the car. So we're gonna go ahead up the street here just a little bit. We're gonna jump out, we're gonna check the curb strip to see if it's still there. And if not, then we'll go to their residence and we'll do a little car search underneath their seat. And hopefully, between these two locations, we've got a real good hope and uh, expectation that we're gonna find that ring today. So come along, this is a yellow gold wedding band, and it should be exciting. Hopefully we can find it. No one else around here hopefully has uh, put their eye on it yet. So uh, we're gonna take a look. All right guys, we just arrived. We're gonna go ahead and just uh, hold that position there open. So you're kind of curious what's happening. So here on the, careful where you walk over that grass if you don't mind. The neighbor across the street had a guest come over on Saturday and they lost a wedding ring out here. I don't know if you heard about it online. So we're gonna go through the curb strip. I'm not digging in the grass or anything. It's on oh, the surface. Okay. We're just working here. That's probably fine. They lost a wedding ring, huh? Yeah. Can I tell you a story about that? So what did you hear? Well, not about this story, but about my wife and I. Yeah? We went, she had this diamond ring that we got from my mom. Yeah. And we went to Whistler and we're skiing up there with a group of people. Oh, you know, no. And we'd skied all day. Yeah. And have you been to Whistler? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. huge, right? Years ago. It's huge, right? Yeah. And so we've been all over the mountain and had a great time. And we came down and sat in the hot tub, had drinks. Uh-huh. We're walking back to the room. Or we're in the hot tub. My wife's touching her finger. There's no ring. No yeah. diamond in the ring. No diamond in the rings there, but the diamond Diamond's cut gone. loose. Yeah. Oh. So she says freaking out. All right. So we gotta go, gotta go back up to the room and solve all this yeah. disaster. And I am not shitting you. We opened up that door and that diamond was sitting on that dark <sighs> What a blessing that you still got it, it back, yeah. Right there in the well, hotel room. Was it uh, above or below one carat? I don't know. It was Just a little like small one, yeah. yeah. Oh, four carats? So decent yeah. size. Well, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, it's yeah. Been, you yeah know, years, yeah. yeah. But that was the wedding ring, right? Yeah, from yeah. my mom. Got it from my mom. Oh, oh so it. it was heirloom. Oh. Yeah.
right guys, we just got confirmation that we're working from the fire hydrant north. We're gonna go ahead and check this area. Are you from this house? Yeah. So did you hear the story last Saturday or whatever that uh, they think that house there, they had some friends come over. She jumped out of the car in her wedding ring. So that's what I was doing out here just on this curb strip. But I've cleared it already. So there was a guy that last night was walking his dog and found one. He found it? Yeah, but I don't know. Oh, okay. That's so, good information to know because yeah. this happened Saturday. He found a ring and he didn't know what to do. Yeah. Okay. So, so he, so my husband took our dog out last night at like... Go. Awesome. Uh, this is so helpful and he came home just in time because he lives like 15 20 minutes down the road so look, just to start i know you got your child there i'm going to give you my card because i'm on the ring finders website uh -huh. and he called me and this is the way these things go that probably the ring it was a gold yellow gold ring yeah so i don't know I'll yeah. ask my husband but the guy that was so my husband took his the dog out and the guy was like i found some headphones and a wedding ring and so he asked if i like yeah. if we had lost one and then so he's a local of the neighborhood yeah so he he lives around here and my um husband came up and was like do you have all your rings and i was like yeah why and he goes someone found a wedding ring and yeah because it happened so, on saturday or sunday and yeah, this was so just he, yesterday he just found it last because he was walking around this path through yep. on the sidewalk because yep. so her door in front of our house and here's a here's a quick lesson for yeah. the ladies yeah. for you don't get caught in the trap because it happens almost all the time and I almost do exactly what he was talking about what? so she's a passenger in the car yeah. and she's gonna put lotion on so she takes uh -huh. it because she's sitting there so she takes she only has one wedding ring yep. she takes it off puts it in her lap yeah and then oh, he parks the up. car just like the opposite way when yeah. she stood up because I was gonna either it's out here someone's either eyeballed it which we just discovered that they did yeah. or it's underneath the seat in his car and I was gonna insert his car so this is good information yeah. Like I wish we would have asked the guy like where he lives or yeah. but I mean even if you go on like the next door app maybe he like said something. Are you part of the next door app? Mm -hmm. Maybe if you could uh, post on our behalf. Yeah, no, I'll definitely do that tonight. So uh, he was probably somewhere around this loop then. Yeah, I think he said. Was he walking a dog? He was walking a dog and I think he said it was in front of our house. That's why he asked my husband yeah. if I if we had lost one. Yeah. Um so it was definitely like right in around here. I don't okay. Know if it was like in the my husband might know when he gets. Home. Oh, it, it, it doesn't matter. He found he found it absolutely. It wouldn't be anybody else. Yeah, exactly. So, so the description of this ring basically is a yellow gold ring, and it's yeah. more like a wedding band with one channel set diamond in it. Gotcha. Only one diamond. Huh. It's not protruding like a, yeah. a engagement ring. Yeah. And it's custom. Like inset. Yeah, it's thing, custom made too. The funny thing is, so we were gone this weekend, which is why our like this was open. Um, but it's funny that we didn't see it because we, you know, what well, I mean? you like, weren't we got looking home for Sunday, it. But yeah, we weren't. Looking you weren't looking for it. Oh man. What a bummer. That's stressful losing a ring like yeah, that. Yeah, they, they just got married back in October oh, or somewhere like that. It was like, yeah. you know, within the last six months or something. Yeah. I don't know. No, I know the feeling. I mean, yeah. I lost mine in our own house and found it. But Did yeah, you? Okay. Well, I'm glad you know. found it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. That's the way these things go sometimes. You got to get yourself out, be around, be available, make that little connection. You know, we didn't know how this was going to turn out. We never know how these things are going to turn out. But, yeah, we just found this lady and uh, her husband seems to have, uh, you just heard, uh, had heard from another person in the neighborhood that had found that ring just yesterday. So these things get eyeballed pretty quickly. We here on Tuesday that was lost on Saturday or Sunday. And then uh, Monday evening or Monday afternoon or whatever, this gentleman found it, which is yesterday, Monday. So it doesn't take long for them to get picked up, especially as I've been out here. There's been two handfuls of people walking back and forth. A nice, nice day, no rain taking the dogs and the kids walking and everything so it's pretty busy and that ring definitely would have caught some attention so we're gonna go reach out to the gentleman and give him this information and we'll move on from there great that we were able to make that connection now we need to just hope that this guy gets uh, contacted somehow and I'm sure he'll turn up and maybe we'll put some flyers out here in this area and that will draw him in as well great We'll be uh, up with an update here in a little bit after we get a resolution on this. 
Hi guys, I know it's a little dark out here. Um, we actually have just made a whole bunch of connections and made some new friends out here. We just got all the information. We just got out of a gentleman's house by the name of Art and Mary Jo, and Art actually had the ring. So we have the ring now, and now we're here with uh, Amanda, if I'm getting my names correct. Right. Why don't Amanda, you tell us yeah. a little bit about your part of all this and what you know? Oh, I feel like I paid a minimal part in this connection. <laughs> I was um, the home that, the, I guess, the people visit and where the ring was lost across the street from my home. So, so these are good friends of yours. Dear friends of ours. Yeah. Yes. So your girlfriend basically lost her wedding ring out in front of your house. Right. Somewhere, potentially. Yes. And okay. we scoured that entire yard trying to find it and were unsuccessful. They visited. Um, this is a kind of a cool piece of the story is that they visited you guys on Friday night. Yes, they visit us on Friday night, Saturday morning. And you guys morning, looked Saturday morning, like yes. tore the place apart and said, this ring isn't out here. We don't know what happened to it. Yes, and the neighbors who lived in the house were gone for the night. And uh -huh. so we couldn't confer with them to see if they had seen anything. So I had pretty much, and, and then um, the couple themselves came over and looked in the yard and on the street and on the, you know, in the area trying to find it as well. And so I, I think I had pretty much given up hope that it was going to be. Yeah. Found, it, oh, is this sure. thing ever going to get found? And it, it's a very beautiful ring. Appreciate your time tonight and oh, sharing your portion of the story. And I, you saw firsthand that this ring is going to, it's been found so yes. everybody can rest assured. And I'm yeah. going to be on my way driving right over to Joe's house right now. And so his wife can get that ring back tonight and they can continue on and, uh, that's just a little lesson learned. I mean, no, it's nobody's fault. It happens to a lot of people. Um, the the, the uh, hand sanitizer and the lotion um, gets a lot of people in this situation. But we're glad we got this ring back and it didn't take too long. And everybody's not stressing out too much now that we've already identified it and found it. So with that, thank you. And uh, thank we're going to go ahead and head down the road, guys. Come along. Hey, let's go get this on and uh, get some more smiles down the road. All right, guys. Here we go. A nice ending to a long day here. There's a lot of things and details that came about. But right now we're with Joe and Jennifer. Why don't you tell us and share a little bit about how we arrived here at this point? Um, I lost my wedding ring on Friday of oh last my. week. Uh -huh. I was putting lotion on in my car and I think I took it off while I was doing that and maybe put it in my lap. It was gone. Mm, so you guys were visiting some friends actually just up the road a little ways from your house here. Yeah. And so you had parked, you were driving the car, right yeah. Joe? And yeah. then you were the passenger. Yeah, we uh, we picked up pizza on the way, mm -hmm. so Joe got out to get it, and I think that's when I put lotion on. Off, yeah. mm. um, and then he came back and handed me the pizzas, and I think I'm pretty sure that yeah. that distracted me enough. So you had like maybe a pizza box that you put in your lap. I had a it... few pizza box boxes in my lap, and mm. I got out of the car, you uh -huh. know, with a big puppy jacket, lots of pizza in the hand, uh... got out of the car, and I was pretty certain. Saturday when I realized it was gone that that is what happened because it's happened to me in the past. Has it? The, do you, the same ring? Yeah. And you guys are newlyweds and yeah. you just got married. Just, like, just in October. No. Okay. And I remember Here we are in thinking March. to yeah. myself, do not put lotion on anymore and take your wedding ring off was, in was the it, car. Was it lotion that did it the previous time or something different? Yes, but I was alone. And you and put the ring in your lap? And I put the ring in my lap, and when I got mm -hmm. out, I saw it drop that time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, don't do this again. I have a rolling <laughs> joke because we actually hear about this all the time. And it's yeah. like the California stickers that say this product may cause cancer. I think you should put a warning label on all, all hand sanitizer and all lotion that says this may cause you to lose your <laughs> rings. And it's happened a lot. It yeah. really does. I mean, it's just kind of natural to put it in your, and then you lose track. And next so thing you know, you jump out of the car, and it just sprinkles out on the sidewalk or underneath the seats and yeah. everything. Yeah. So. So when you had told me that initial part, you texted me. I was like, eh, did the story go something like this? And yeah. you're like, oh my gosh. Yeah, you nailed the yeah. story. I didn't have to tell you what happened. You That's, described it exactly. Yeah. When you said that you, you've heard of that happening, I was like, oh, this might be our yeah, guy. I was like, just going to find the part. <laughs> well, we never know thought what it was in that neighborhood so much that three people, the neighbors, the people we were visiting, searched. Joe went and searched, and I went and searched. Yeah. And so you woke up the next morning and said, you're the type that actually you told me that, or he, your husband told me that you wear your ring all the time. You don't take it off each I night. I don't ever take it off. Mm -hmm. So this is, it was very obvious to you that my ring's missing. I don't think I left it anywhere in the house. I was actually looking at his ring the next morning, and then I went like this, and I was like, oh no. And I looked at my <laughs> nightstand, because sometimes I'll take my ring off at bedtime mm -hmm. to put lotion on, only oh, to yeah. put lotion on. 
But you have it on the nightstand yeah. or whatever. And so. I didn't think it slipped off because I do hair and I always have it on and I take gloves off and like it's never slipped off yet. Well, to share some of the story because there's been a lot of texting going on in the last <laughs> yeah. three hours or so. Yeah. What had happened is I, I told him this is go down in three ways probably potentially. I'll go out there and I'll search the area with the metal detector and make sure it's just not on the sidelines or underneath a leaf or something. Yeah. And if not, then... I come over and I'll do an exhaustive search of your car with a little video and scope tool and I can look under the seats and the cracks and these rings are Which thin. that's why I Very wanted thin. you to come yeah. because I've, I've like found things in that car months later. When I came up to the house, the white house that you guys parked next to, mm -hmm. uh -huh. the whole area in front of the house fortunately was free of cars so I didn't have any uh, cars close by and I was, it's, yeah. it's pretty thin grass and you guys already looked out there you know yeah. so it was like okay it's, it's not here but as I was just about to walk away um, to back up a slight bit, I've been talking to people as they're passing by, yeah. and I have business cards, you know, that have my name and number on it. So I kind of, kind of spread the word because I want to get this story out into the local community. While I was out there, there's probably at least 25 couples or people mm -hmm. that went back and forth. It's a nice day, so a lot of people come through that neighborhood. Yeah. And knowing that it's a nice neighborhood community, I was saying, okay, you know, somebody out here is going to know something potentially. So I just want to get the word out. Talk to a few people about what I was doing. They see a guy with a metal detector. Yeah. What are you doing? What's up? Oh, hopefully we find our wedding ring, right? You know, it's just kind of dropping seeds. Well, the woman that, uh, that lives in that house and her infant had just pulled in. And I'm very quick to kind of, you know, as you as you saw earlier in the video, guys, I'm pretty quick to explain myself because people are always like, what are you doing in my yard? And what's going on? And then as soon as they hear this, this sad story, and they're like, oh my gosh, I hope you find it online. You know, they get all engaged. Yeah. Well, as soon as I said, I'm looking, do you know the story yet about the lost wedding ring? And she's like, you're looking for, is it your wedding ring? And I'm like, no, I've been out, called out here to help the gentleman and his wife find the ring that they lost on Saturday or on a Friday night. She's like, my husband was just talking to the neighbor that had picked up a ring. And yeah, so she got all, you know, yeah. excited and energized and yeah. everything. And then she said she's going to go in and post on next, uh, uh, next door. Uh -huh. She went into the house and, she, and I kind of left her my name and number, but I, I just had her first name. And like 10 minutes later, as I'm going to my car and I'm packing up and everything, another gentleman that had heard the story earlier comes over and he's like got his phone out and he's got this post and it was her first name and last name and everything. And it, and it said, oh my gosh, this couple lost the ring. If you, you're the one that came to us that with the ring, please reach out to us. And I was like, oh, okay, now I've got her, her name looked her up, got her phone numbers, and I got in touch with her directly because she, her husband had the interaction with the neighbor. Yeah. She okay. hadn't talked to him yet, to her husband, with any more details, just her, oh, lost ring, you know, hopefully uh. something turns up. And so she put a really nice note out on social media, really hoping she would be a part of this whole process and getting this ring back and everything. <laughs> so I got her phone number and reached out to her. And next thing you know, she's already gotten updates from her husband. It's like, we know what house he lives in. We'll go tomorrow and knock on the door if you like. I'm like, I'm still here, so I'm going to run around the corner. And so then I came up to this gentleman's they house. They told you the house? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it was an older couple. So I'm knocking on their door, and I have the picture That's of the ring exciting. that you had provided in the text. Yeah. And I put the phone out and I'm like, hey, you found the ring. And they're like, oh my gosh, are you the owner of the ring? I'm like, no. They're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain. So we had a big explanation. And then your friends came over knocking mm -hmm. on the door and they came up. And uh, so. It's a party. Yeah, it was a big party. <laughs> and so without further ado, here's your ring. <laughs> I can't Aww. keep you any longer. <laughs> Thanks for all your patience because you guys you. have been very patient throughout this yeah, whole process. No, this God. Is, I don't know if I ever want to wear it though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared now. He tells me the part about the timeline was kind of um, interesting because I was yeah. like, did you happen to go out in the morning? He's like, yeah, I walk in the morning. Yeah. So when he went out Saturday morning, uh, uh, the day after you'd lost yeah. this, That's what I was he found so. apparently you lost a pair of headphones with a cable on it maybe or maybe someone else did no so it weren't yours but he thought he thought they were related but he looked down and he found some headphones with a cable on it and he's like oh my gosh headphones he threw them up on the porch on the steps thinking it was belong to the house yeah, yeah. that was saturday uh -huh. it wasn't till sunday morning he's walking back through and his dog was doing his business and he looked down into the gutter on the street and found your ring on oh. Saturday morning on uh, Sunday morning. Oh, really? Sunday, Sunday morning. We all After we were all there. For it. So <laughs> you guys had scoured the area, and yeah. fortunately, if you look at your ring, it's just, it's just normal wear on the sides of it. It doesn't show any signs of being run over at all. Yeah. 
So that was really exciting to get that ring back to this couple. I mean, they're going to be grateful to get that back. And I'm glad that we made that connection today, that we put in the effort and uh, made the connections. It just happened to come out this way. It was a little different the way this one got found. But as long as it gets back on our finger, that's all that we're really concerned about. Yeah. But just want to share with you guys, if you've lost anything in the Seattle area, please reach out to me. I'm the Seattle Ring Hunter. You can contact me at 206 618 8194. I go all over Washington State. And a huge shout out to the ringfinders.com. We've actually got over uh, 500 uh, independent recovery specialists across the country. So find somebody in your local city if you've lost something so they can come out and help you out. With that, stay safe, keep your valuables safe, and we're <laughs> excited to go find the next one. So come along for the hunt next time. Until then, we're going to let these uh, lovely folks here get some relaxation tonight and some sleep. I'm going to get going, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> If you've lost your ring or a special item of value, please get in touch with me at the SeattleRingHunter.com as soon as possible so I can arrange to do a search for you.